Hi everyone, welcome to our day one coverage at Team Dex 2024, the Doha International Maritime Defense Exhibition here in Qatar. Once again, there are many new ship designs on display on the show floor and that's going to be our focus today. We start today's video report with Intermarine of Italy who is showcasing a next generation uh, MCM vessel for project for the Italian Navy. Uh, it's the first time they are showcasing it. Uh, the requirement is for 12 vessels, uh, 8 shorter hulls for coastal MCM missions and 4 more vessels for blue water or ocean going uh, vessel. The project is known as Cacciamine Nueva Generazione Costieri, which means basically next generation coastal MCM vessel. So let's dive into it. It's about uh, 1300 tons of displacement, uh, 63 meters in length and a crew of uh, 50 sailors. To me, the design is very avant-garde, the bridge area especially. Uh, it looks like it may uh, be fitted with the famous uh, naval cockpit, which is already fitted on the PPA vessel which uh, we covered last year in, uh, in Dimdex. There are four 12.7 uh, remote weapon stations by uh, Leonardo, hull-mounted sonar, probably mine avoidance uh, sonar, fitted under the hull, under the bridge, uh, two bow thrusters, a very large mission bay uh, aft of the vessel. Of course, uh, this is probably where they would uh, launch and recover USBs and UUVs. Dedicated space aft for uh, ISO containers for additional uh, mission modules, uh, probably things like uh, tools for seabed warfare, a deck for UAVs. And what's uh, quite unusual for these vessels are those uh, cycloidal uh, propulsion systems. now with RS Shipyard of Turkey who is unveiling a new Corvette design at Dimdex 2024. Utku Alange, good morning. Good morning. Sarah. Great, great to see you again. Thank you. Likewise. You are, you are the CEO of uh, RS Shipyard. So what can you tell us about this uh, new design? Uh, I'm familiar with RS for uh, the patrol vessels, small and large, mm -hmm. the yachts, of course, but uh, Corvettes, this is a fairly new and uh, a new capability for RS. Yes, RS is uh, quite well known for, for its uh, relatively smaller vessels, like patrol boats, fast attack craft. But this time, still uh, we, we have the capacity and capability to build, design and build up to 90 meters in length, but we have not done it before. Um, this came with a solid inquiry from, uh, from an ally, maybe. And uh, we, we have always believed in the the idea about naval vessels, especially the tendency uh, in the recent years, the smaller is the better. Mm -hmm. This is in terms of, uh, of course, cost effectiveness, first of all, um, but mostly because of the need of personnel, uh, which we all are facing, you know, in, in the world, mm -hmm. lack of, lack of uh, experienced personnel in right. the Navy. So it's a 76 meter uh, Corvette. Uh, bringing together all kinds of warfare like anti-submarine, uh, anti-surface and, and then some, uh, to some extent of course, a, a level of uh, anti-air. Uh, so yeah, indeed you mentioned so some fairly complex and advanced uh, weapon system. You, you need a combat management system and a yes. CIC, so is, is, are there such things yes. on board? Um, all, almost all of the combat management systems on board are indigenous, they are Turkish made. Uh, the CMS is, is from, uh, configured from Havelsan, mm -hmm. as you know, um, they are very experienced and they have the systems All in the right. Turkish Navy already. And the electro-optic suites are from Aselsan. Uh, we have some lightweight torpedoes on board, Orca, mm -hmm. again in the configuration. Wow. And um, the missile systems, the cruise missiles are, of course, from uh, Roketsan. We have a four um, Atmaja missiles mm -hmm. co configured optionally, it can be eight. And, uh, PDMS is also from Asasan, Göksur, their uh, brand new indigenous system, once again. And uh, there is a hull mounted sonar, Metexans Yakamos. Uh, so, they so, so it's a truly multi role design? Yes, it is. It is indeed. Okay. It is indeed. Wow. 
how uh, ready is uh, the design? Can you enter production soon? Should you get the design an order? Is, yes, the design is mature already. We have been working on it for more than six months now. Um, but the, the specs were there, so we, we, we based it on a, a solid requirement. Uh, but the design is over. The contractual design is, is over, let's say. Uh, but the production level design is not yet fixed. We, we, we still have the critical design we face. We are now with Poly Technologies of China, who is showcasing this new Attack USB. This one was unveiled at a World Defense Show one month ago, but uh, here we are in Qatar. They are showcasing it again, and this time I get to ask a few questions to Bai Zhu, project manager at Poly Technologies for the ship division. Mr. Zhu, good morning. Good morning, nice to meet you. Likewise. So, can you please tell us about the Thunderer A2000 Attack USB? Yes, I'm glad to. Firstly, uh, let me give you a dimension introduction. Okay. This is a uh, MN USB, large size. Have a 45 meters long and 10 meter width. Also, 5 meters uh, depth molded and 2 meters draft. Okay. It has a totally full displacement of 280 tons displacement, okay, with full load. Its maximum speed is 35 knots. And at 18 knots cruising speed, its endurance is 2,000 nautical miles. Displacement is not that big, but it has comprehensive weapon system, including anti-air and anti-surface, also anti-ground, okay. So let's focus on missile system. We have eight units, okay. Uh, six of the eight, we can launch SSM. And the longest range can reach 290 kilometers away, okay. We also have SAM system. The longest range is 70 kilometers. So this is another type of missile. We can call it cruising missile. Also, loitering munition, okay, and uh, attack range can reach around 70 kilometers something, okay. So totally, we have 48 units, 48 pieces. Starboard, port side, starboard side. Can this ship as as a motor ship for smaller unmanned system like USBs? Mm, yes, we have. There are four suicide USV. Okay, we can launch but we will not withdraw because it will finish, okay, when finish attacking. We also have two UAV. You can see here, one, two. It can give target identification for our weapon system, okay. It can taking off and landing automatically vertical because it got rotor, four rotor for each uh, UAV. Very well. well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The Thunderer A2000 is just one of many USBs being showcased by Poly Technologies. All are ready to be produced and delivered to uh, customers. We are now on the booth of uh, Turkish shipbuilder Thais Shipyard, who's showcasing this new frigate model. And uh, Typhoon Orsberg, our uh, Turkish correspondent, just uh, talked to company representative to learn the details about this uh, vessel. Typhoon, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. How are you? I'm great, thank you. It's great to, uh, to be with you here in, uh, in Qatar. So you just talked to uh, someone from Thais about this new frigate. What can you share with us? Yes, uh, Thais is producing such concept designs and they are also responsible of constructing remaining seven I-class frigates, so uh, they are very experienced. And this is Foxtrot 115 uh, frigate, this is a conceptual design and we see a heavy armed frigate here armed with uh, 16 anti-ship missiles uh, and there is a 16 cell vertical launching system for surface air missiles and 76 millimeter guns and there are two types of remote weapon stations Asalsan stop stamp and Asalsan stop 20 millimeter gun 
And at the back side, uh, there is a Gökdeniz closing weapon system. Uh, in the conceptual designs, they always use indigenous systems. So, uh, of course, we don't know the exact, exact con uh, configuration. Everything from uh, Turkey, including the, the combat management system, uh, the advent from uh, Haverzon. Yes, yes, combat management system is homegrown. Also the sensors as well. For example, you see the fire control radars from Aselsan, Akrep, and the uh, other sensors uh, like uh, air and surface search radar and countermeasure systems are all indigenous. So that frigate was uh, new, but uh, what's new as well, Typhoon, is uh, regarding this uh, USV, uh, especially some new weapon systems for the USV. Yes, this is uh, Marlin USV of uh, made by Sefina Shipyard and Aselsan partnership, and uh, we see different payload options here. And uh, at the back side, we see the launchers of Kuzgun anti ship missiles. Uh, this will be a heavily armed surface drone uh, armed with uh, Kuzgun and anti-ship missiles uh, that can uh, strike more than uh, 40 kilometers. So that's quite a significant uh, range for the missile, especially when launched from a USV. Yes. And uh, how many? Because that looks like a lot in there. Uh, per launcher can uh, is capable to launch uh, 10 missiles, uh, totally 20 missiles. And that's so those launchers are in addition to those torpedo launchers and uh, advanced sensors and uh, remote weapon sy system uh, up front. So that's yes. really a multi role uh, USB that can fulfill a wide range of, uh, of missions. Yes, of course. And it, it is the first uh, surface drone uh, that is capable of conducting electronic warfare, electronic attack, and electronic defense. Yeah, especially with this uh, payload right here. Damon of the Netherlands is showcasing the, their OPV 2600 design. These vessels are 98 meters in length. Two are currently under construction in Romania for the Pakistan Navy. Uh, Typhoon, these ships are uh, longer variants of uh, the current OPV uh, of uh, the Pakistan Navy and we saw one of them yesterday at yes. uh, Hamad port. Yes, yes, the larger version of the Yarmouk class OPVs. And uh, there are a number of uh, Turkish systems on board, uh, can you tell us which ones? Uh, there are some weapon systems made by Aselsan, uh, you see Aselsan smash on the both sides, uh, 30 millimeter gun and the uh, Gökdeniz closing weapon system at the back and uh, at the both sides Aselsan stamp remote weapon stations and uh, this ship is tailored to Pakistan so uh, they located uh, four Harba anti-ship missile uh, launchers uh, to the ship and uh, there are also surface-to-air missile launchers, and I am not sure, but I believe these are Albatross NG, uh, some systems uh, by MBDA, because Pakistan Navy was the launch customer for this uh, system. Uh, 